Our school is one of 11 schools in the district that do demonstrations of learning. And so the students, it's a special day, the students prepare a project and a presentation, they collaborate together, and it's basically a project-based learning activity. So this is their chance to, to present to an authentic audience. Family members come, community members come, people that are higher ups in our district, they come to see what the students have. So students get to demonstrate what they've learned. Our model teaches us about how Earth experiences night and day and spinning on its axis. And it takes 24 hours, aka one day, created to show you how the motion Earth and the Sun are predictable. So our essential question was how do patterns and cycles of motions of Earth and the Sun, how are they predictable? and in what ways do they affect Earth. The whole purpose of project-based learning and demonstrations of learning is that students are able to answer this question in whatever the way they choose, but they are demonstrating their knowledge by using academic language and content that they learn to answer this complex question. We had three options. Oral story, which was about constellations, picking your story, digital model, where you make a model and on Canva or Google Slides and physical model where you make your own thing of Earth. Our project was about the Earth's rotation around the sun, but we didn't really make the sun a, a ball. We put it on the side of the thing and lit it up and, and we um, rotated the Earth on its axis. The whole purpose was we wanted to put a planetarium show together. But in order for the audience to understand the show, they needed to understand how Earth moves. So we're gonna have to do that in the exhibit, out in the hallway, set it up like a museum, educate them first, and then bring them into the show. Now, the show was the most fun part for me and for the kids, too. They really loved the show. So we all agreed on we wanted to do a planetarium show. We started putting the black paper on the wall. And we did practice the planetarium show it was pretty fun. Um, I'm, I was part of the welcoming committee, which had the most important role. We greeted the guests and um, showed them to their seats. We explored planetariums in terms of doing a lot of research and listening to interviews on, on YouTube and looking at websites and looking at the largest planetarium in um, the United States. Um, so that was something that I wasn't really going to focus on, but I know that there was curiosity for it, so that's why I implemented it. Um, and then I love that they also mentioned, let's interview somebody who works in a planetarium. And we were able to set up an astronomer interview. I know you guys are talking all about cycles and patterns. Um, the planet part of that, uh, the word planet means wandering star. Because if you go out and watch the planets over and over and over and over again, you'll see that they move against those background stars. I know that uh, we become stressed because of what we need to teach we need to teach for these standardized tests. We need to make sure that our students score is up. And while that's important too, it's also important to remember that when students become invested in it and they feel like they're making a difference, they are gonna learn that content naturally. They're gonna be so excited to show off what they know to because they know that they're about to perform. And truly, sometimes, you know, it can get frustrating because it takes a while and you got to rehearse and you got to practice. But all of these skills that we're teaching the students of being reflective and, and those POG skills, you know, of being creative and innovative or socially and cultur culturally empathetic, all of that is going to help them. Those are the truly the skills that they need um, at, to, you know, as human beings. They, they need that in the classroom and also outside of the classroom. And those skills, can be practiced through demonstrations of learning.